Well, good morning, McClave School community, and welcome to the first um, virtual academic awards ceremony. Um, my personal hope is this is the last virtual awards academic award ceremony. Um, but we do want to take some time to recognize the excellence that our students have produced this year. You know, excellence is one of our four core virtues here at McClave, and it's very important. Um, all the hard work that our students have put in. Um, so congratulations to all of you who are going to be named as winners. You know, one of the things we're, we're going through some unique and trying times, and uh, one of my favorite people in American history is George Washington. And he once said, the harder the conflict, the greater the triumph. And so we are triumphing in some very, very difficult and unique times. Um, but without further ado, we're going to turn it over to um, teachers and let them get started with your awards. Thank you all for being here today. We are going to start off with our sixth grade awards. Okay, I am going to start with the sixth grade science awards. And I'm going to give two different awards. Um, the first one I'm going to give is for all A's all year so that you had an A first semester and second semester. And the people receiving that award are Abrielle Gomez, Jacqueline Canales, Corbin Jaggers, Kristen Marks, Ashlyn Steinbrunn, Dakota Steins, Garrett Van Dyke, and Madeline Works. And then the second award I'm gonna give is for most improved student. Um, this student improved both academically and through their organization skills and just improved as a sixth grader overall. And I am giving that award to Hannah Snick. My name is Mrs. Curley and this year I had the sixth grade for social studies. So I'm giving a couple of awards as well. The High Point Award for first semester with a 97% goes to Garrett Van Dyke. The High Point Award um, for 90, with 97% first semester also goes to Leighton Palm. We had a tie there. Second semester, Garrett Van Dyke had a 99.5% and Ashlyn Steinbrunn had a 99.5%. And then I'm also giving an Explorer Award to Weston Morgan. This is a young man who knows more about histories than, than most adults do. So it's been a real pleasure to have the sixth grade in class. Congratulations. For math, I have two awards. I have the 95% club award, which is going to students who earned a 95% or higher for both first semester and second semester. And that goes to Jacqueline Canales, Clara Ebright, Abriel Gomez, Leighton Hom, Corbin Jaggers, Hannah Sniff, Luke Tag, Garrett Van Dyke, and Madeline Wirtz. And then I also wanted to award those kids that worked hard during this online process. So I have the online on time award, and this is for students who turned in all of their online assignments on time. And for sixth grade, that goes to Abriel Gomez. Corbin Jaggers, Zoe Martinez, Hannah Sniff, and Madeline Wirtz. Good job, sixth graders. Hi, everybody. This year, I had the pleasure of having sixth grade for both reading and writing class, so two classes, but I'm going to kind of combine those. Um, my students who had a 95% or higher, Garrett Van Dyke, both reading and writing, first and second semester. Madeline Wirtz, reading and writing, first and second semester. Abrielle Gomez, reading, first and second semester, and writing, second semester. Reed Herrera, in reading, first and second semester. Hannah Smith, 95% or higher in reading and writing, second semester. Mason Barr, 95% in writing, second semester. Corbin Jaggers, 95% in reading, second semester, and Ashlyn Steinbrenn for reading, second semester. I also had some students who showed great improvement in the STAR reading assessment. Uh, 50 points is a typical average growth. And I had two students, well, I had several students who went way beyond that. But Kristen Marks with 228 points and Weston Morgan with 252 points of growth, and that was just from October to March. So some very exceptional kids in this class, 
and um, I really appreciate all their hard work and dedication. I had two students I wanted to recognize for completing all of the online assignments, and that was Zoe Martinez and Ashlyn Steinbrenn. So thank you to all the sixth graders. Great job. I look forward to seeing you next year. Great job, sixth graders. And next up, we will have our seventh grade awards. So I'm gonna start out with the science awards again. Um, my seventh graders worked extremely hard this year. So I had a bunch of kids who got A's both first semester and second semester. So those students getting awards will be Jason Adams, Abigail Barr, Ethan Bronneman, Tyann Miller, Savannah Ryer, and Chloe Weber. So good job, seventh graders. Hi, seventh grade. This is Mr. Brubaker here, and I have two awards to give out for seventh grade. My class's overall coding specialist goes to Kayla Owens, and top junior high out of seventh and eighth grade, top junior high GPA goes to Chloe Weber. Good job, guys. Once again, I had the seventh grade for social studies, and my high point award for first and second semester goes to Chloe Weber. She had a 99.5%. And then in this class, I have two Explorer awards to give. One is to Jason Adams, who, um, again, is just kind of a repository of all things history. And the other one is to Jocelyn Sykes. Congratulations, seventh grade. For seventh grade math, the 95% club award goes to Jason Adams, Abigail Barr, Ethan Bronneman, Tyann Miller, Savannah Ryer, and Chloe Weber. And then my online on time award for all assignments turned in on time when we went online is Jason Adams. Congratulations, seventh graders. I am Marge Lubers and I'm the new art teacher this year and I have an award for the seventh grade and this person is winning this award because of their artistic ability and they complete their work on time and they have that never give up attitude. I would like to give this award to Ethan Bronneman. Good luck, Ethan. This is Dick Peacher. I uh, very much enjoyed teaching seventh grade English this year. A small class, but a very good class. My awards for the class, uh, going into the final nine weeks, we had two kids with 4.0. We ended up with only one. Our award for 4.0 student, top student in the class is Chloe Weber. Congratulations, Chloe. I also wanted to give two awards for most improved. And uh, both of these kids started not low, but uh, they were, I would consider average in English and both improved dramatically during the year. And it's always, it always makes me feel really good to give a most improved award. I have two of those, that being Abigail Barr and Savannah Ryer. So congratulations to those two girls. Again, very enjoyable class. I hope to see you next year. Good job to our seventh graders. And now we will present our eighth grade awards. So for my eighth grade awards, I have the All A's Award again, and I also have a Most Improved Award. So for my All A's All Year Award, that's going to Giselle and Ciso, Kelly McMillan, Kenna McElroy, Holly Morgan, and Tristan Simmons. My most improved award is going to go to a student who didn't start off liking science and didn't start off with a very good attitude, but as we move through the year, they have put in so much more effort and actually started caring and is enjoyable to have in class. And that award is gonna to go to Connor Four. Congratulations, eighth graders. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Brubaker here. I have one award for the eighth grade, and this goes to the top overall computer graphic design artist, and that goes to Julian Gutierrez. Good job, Julian. I have my 95% club award for any first semester and second semester. That goes to Giselle Nciso, Austin Lacano, Kenna McElroy, Holly Morgan, and Carson Rush. And then my online on-time award for all assignments 
turned in on time when we online goes to Giselle and CISO and Carson Rush. Congratulations, eighth graders, and good luck next year in a school. This is Mr. Peacher for eighth grade English. And I had three students with an A average going into the final nine weeks. Again, we only ended up with one student with an A average, that being Kenna McElroy. Outstanding student. She also won the uh, Patriots Writing Contest. That was a countywide pro uh, project throughout Bent County, six different schools. So Kenna is just an outstanding English student. My most improved student, she started with low Bs. She ended up with an A her second semester. Most improved student in eighth grade English is Giselle Inciso. I have al also have two other awards, uh, and this goes for my students uh, who have done the best job uh, during this last nine weeks. I call it the early bird award. They were very quick, got all their work into me rapidly, and I was really proud of them. Uh, I was able to get through their stuff quickly. They did a great job. That is Carson uh, Rush and Kaysen Malone. Congratulations, fellas. Again, good luck to the eighth grade in high school next year. Hey, it's Mr. Pyatt. I have two awards. One for highest GPA, which goes to Holly Morgan, outstanding student. And the other award goes to Karsten Rush, another outstanding student. And I can see great things happening for these kids in the future. Good job to our eighth grade students. Now we will have some spelling bee awards. Hi, our school spelling bee was conducted back in the first week of February. And um, it's always a fun time for me. I get to see kids from fourth grade through eighth grade compete in that. Five students from each grade come in and we take a written test first and then the top half of those kids go on to the oral round. Our school champion this year was from the fifth grade, Colin McElroy. Second place was Austin Lacano. Third place was Chloe Weber. She was also second place at the district competition. Fourth place here at school was Holly Morgan. Fifth place was a tie between Kayla Owens and Hannah Sniff. Hannah Sniff went on to be our district champion at our Bank County District Spelling Bee. Um, she qualified, this was her second year to win that. She was our repeat champion at the district spelling bee qualified for the state spelling bee, which unfortunately was canceled. So we look forward to seeing those kids again next year. Congratulations to our spellers and great job. And now we will start with our high school awards. First up, ninth grade. Hi, this is Almanza here for Conversational Spanish. First semester, high average. I have two students for that award and they go to Ansley Herrera and Haley Ebright. Semester two, Conversational Spanish two, high average awards, um, and those go to Hope Mitchell and Ansley Herrera. Congratulations, guys. I had most of the freshmen in uh, uh, biology class, and for biology, I have one award to give, and it's the high grade average for semester one and two, and that award goes to Hope Mitchell. Congratulations, Hope. Hello, I'm Mr. Robinson. I teach high school math. Um, for the freshmen, I have them in algebra one and geometry. I'm giving a highest percentage award for both of those classes. And in each of those classes, the highest percentage went to Hope Mitchell. Congratulations, Hope. I'm Mrs. Oquist and I teach high school English. And the 4.0 award awards for the freshmen go to Haley Ebright, Ansley Herrera, Hope Mitchell, and Kennedy Vallejos. Good job to all of our freshmen. Next up, we will have our 10th grade awards. So for 10th grade, I had most of them in earth science class um, and my top earth science percentage, both semesters one and two award goes to Maggie Chase. Good job, Maggie. Mr. Brubaker here and I teach accounting for the high school and I have one grade to give out for the 10th grade and that goes to Ciara Solis with the highest GPA and that was for accounting. Good job, Ciara. I have the 10th grade for civics and the high point award in that course goes to Maggie Chase. Congratulations, Maggie. I have the sophomores for Algebra 2. Um, typically, I just give one award, but 
I had two students end with a very high um, percentage, and I want to recognize both of them. And those two students are Anna Beckett and Maggie Chase. Congratulations. Um, Mr. Pyatt for exercise nutrition, and I have one award, and that goes to uh, Christiana Montanez for being an outstanding student, high GPA, and always can count on her. For English, for the 4.0 award, uh, for the sophomores, Anna Beckett, Maggie Chase, Cassidy Jaggers, and Asia Moreno. Good job to all of our sophomores. Next up, we will have our 11th grade awards. For 11th grade, they have the option to take chemistry, and my chemistry students always work really hard. Um, this year, they worked exceptionally hard going online. Um, so to start off, I have a special online award to give them. They did exceptionally well. So uh, my online award for that goes to Ariana Boulevard, Taya Dickerson, Mackenzie Kiniston, Joelle Nciso, and Gentry Martin. Um, I have a top chemistry student for semester two, which means that they were my top students in semester two, and I have two awards for them. I have Joelle Nciso, and I have Ariana Boulevard, and then I have two more awards to give for chemistry um, for most improved, and this is for attitude, for showing up to class, for trying. Um, both of them did not think that they could take chemistry and do well when they first showed up, so they have improved greatly. So I'm giving that award to Ariana Boulevard and Stan Dickerson. Good job, guys. I have one award to give for the 11th grade, and that is for the publications and yearbook class. And that award goes to Marissa and CISO for the top photographer award. Good job, Marissa. I have several awards for the 11th grade. First of all, I have them for US history. The first semester high point award winner with 93% was Jade Sykes. Second semester with a 94% was Joelle and CISO. The most improved student in US history was Marissa and CISO. And she just grew by leaps and bounds. She's gone from a, a, a young woman who was constantly asking questions and wanting help to taking ownership of that work and doing it by herself. Very few questions, and she's just absolutely excelled about it. I'm so proud of her. And then the other award is World Geography, and that goes to Mackenzie Keniston with a 96%. Thanks. I have the, I have the juniors for, well, first semester I have them for college algebra and second semester for trigonometry. The high point for each of those classes goes to Joelle and CISO. Good job. I would like to give an award in the 11th grade art. And uh, my person to get this award is Jade Sykes. She is quite the artist. She never gives up. And she has completed many projects that other children who come into the art room will admire and respect. So Jade, congratulations for winning the 11th grade art award. For English, the 4.0 awards to Ariana Boulevard, Beatrice Parvinelli, Taya Dickerson, Joelle Enciso, Marissa Enciso, Mackenzie Kiniston, Gentry Martin and Jade Sykes. Good job to all of our juniors. And now we will have our 12th grade awards. Opportunity to have a lot of seniors in my class. Um, this year I had the opportunity to have a very exceptional senior in my chemistry class, and he is going to get two awards. He is going to get the top chemistry student for semester one and two, and he's also going to receive my online chemistry award, and that award goes to Trace Cox. Good job, Trace, and good luck once you graduate. I have one award to give for the seniors, and that goes back into my publications and yearbook class. And the top overall high school computer graphic designer goes to Matt Berry. Congrats, Matt. I have the seniors for a couple of classes. Um, first semester, it is for, I have them for speech, and a lot of these kids take this course for college credit for LCC. The high point award winner for that course with the 95% was Katie Rush. I'm also giving a, I call it the most natural public speak award, and that goes to Maverick Whitey. This young man gets up and he's just smooth when he speaks. He's well prepared. 
and it comes across so natural just as a conversation, which is what you're after with public speaking. So I'm really proud of Maverick for that. And then a perseverance award I'm giving to Alden Snip. He was hesitant to take speech because he felt shy standing up in front of the audience. So he did a really good job, but where he really shone was after his that horrific car accident he was in towards the end of the first semester and came back and actually gave a speech about the accident and about the importance of wearing seatbelts. It was very emotional for him. And I was so proud of him for persevering through that and struggling through that. And he did an awesome job with that speech. So congratulations to them. Second semester, I had the seniors for Introduction to Literature. And the High Point Award in that course goes to Katie Rush with a 98%. I'm also giving a, a what I call the most emotional writer award to Katie Broadman. And what she's able to do is read a piece of literature and apply that to her own life. And when she writes about it, she really brings some emotion into it. It's, it's really a pleasure to read. And then the most insightful writer who's able, someone who's able to take a piece of literature and, and kind of dissect it and really get to the meat of what's, what the author's writing about is Maverick Light. So congratulations to the seniors. Best of luck to you in your future. And I will miss you guys. For the seniors, I have some of them in calculus, had a few of them this year at the beginning. Um, the top student in calculus this year goes to Trace Cox. Congratulations. My senior student in high school goes to Rebecca Flores Martinez, who it has a never give up attitude and she um, has completed some beautiful work and I wish her well as she moves along uh, whatever endeavor she comes upon. I have the seniors for comp one and two and the four point award go for both of those classes goes to Katie Rush, Katie Bronneman, and Trace Cox. Good job to all of our seniors. And now we have some newspaper awards that will be presented. Hi, I'm Mrs. Goebel. I co-sponsor the newspaper with Mrs. Steinbrenn. And we would like to thank the McClave Cardinal Connection newspaper staff. This group of students works hard to put the newspaper together. The only compensation they do get is an incentive trip at the end of the year to go ice skating. And they didn't get that this year, but they still kept writing. So we, as well as the community, want you to know how much we appreciate you. Students receiving certificates of appreciation this year for newspaper include Katie Bronneman, Trace Cox, Katie Rush, Abby Knighty, Mackenzie Keniston, Jade Sykes, Anna Beckett, Maggie Chase, Cassidy Jaggers, Danny Cass, Jaira Shavira, Haley Ebright, Ansley Herrera, Hope Mitchell, and Kennedy Vallejos. Again, Ms. Goble and I would like to express our gratitude to these hardworking individuals. Your hard work and effort have made this school newspaper really a success. Um, we appreciate your dedication to the organization and look forward to another great year with you all. Thank you for everything you've done. Good job to all of our newspaper students. We thank you for your hard work. And now we will have some student council awards. Another group of students that does a lot of work around our school with not a lot of recognition. Again, they don't get a grade or compensated in that way. It's, their biggest thing is, is seeing our school spirit and lifting up some of the fun activities that we do, and that is student council. And I'm glad that I get to be a part of that each year. It was a lot of fun this year with homecoming, with the floats and winter sports and all of the activities that we do. So I want to say thank you to our student council kids. Our officers this year were senior Katie Rush, juniors Ariana Boulevard and Jade Sykes, sophomores Maggie Chase, Cassidy Jaggers, and Edith Mungarai, freshmen Kayla Barr, and then our class representatives from the senior class Maverick, from the juniors Gentry Martin, sophomore class Rylan Herrera, and freshman Kennedy Vallejos. I hope to see a lot of you guys back and want to keep working with you guys next year. So thank you and we had a great year. Thank you to our student council members. Our last set of awards will be our awards for being on the honor roll for both semesters during the 2019-2020 school year. So we will start off with our sixth grade honor roll students receiving an award this year. Those students are Mason Barr, Ryan Bronneman, Adanahi Cabrera, Jacqueline Canales, 
Clara Ebright, Abrielle Gomez, Reed Herrera, Leighton Hom, Corbin Jaggers, Zoe Martinez, Kristen Marks, Hope Meston, Weston Morgan, Hannah Sniff, Dakota Steins, Ashlyn Steinbrunn, Luke Tag, Nathan Torres, Garrett Van Dyke, Udi Villalobos, and Madeline Wirtz. Congratulations to all of our sixth grade students. Now we will have our seventh grade honor roll awards. Those students awarded for being on both semesters of honor roll are Jason Adams, Abigail Barr, Ethan Bronneman, Kyanne Miller, Kayla Owens, Savannah Ryer, Elijah Solis, and Chloe Weber. Now our eighth grade students receiving an honor roll award, Giselle Inciso, Kenna McElroy, Callie McMillan, Holly Morgan, Carson Rush, Trish, Tristan Simons, Michael Steins, Madison Stewart, Gavin Temple, Windsor Lighty. And now our ninth grade students receiving honor roll awards. These students are Jaira Shavaria, Kayla Barr, Danny Cass, Haley Ebright, Aiden Gomez, Ansley Herrera, Hope Mitchell, Kendall Smart, Colton Smart, and Kennedy Vallejos. Next up will be our 10th grade students. Those students receiving honor roll awards this year are Anna Beckett, Bidi Cabrera, Maggie Chase, Rylan Herrera, Cassidy Jaggers, Christiana Montanez, Asia Moreno, Edith Mungeray, Ciara Solis, and Michaela Woolert. Our 11th grade students receiving honor roll awards are Ariana Boulevard, Taya Dickerson, Joelle Inciso, Maribel Inciso, Marissa Inciso, Mackenzie Keniston, Gentry Martin, and Jade Sykes. And last, we have our 12th grade students receiving honor roll awards. Those students are Katie Bronneman, Jaden Cass, Trace Cox, Rebecca Flores Martinez, Maverick Lighty, Abigail Knighty, Caitlin Rush, Valerie Simons, Alden Sniff, Maria Villalobos, and AJ Wilk. Thank you to all of our Cardinals and good job to each and every one of you for your hard work this year. We appreciate your efforts. And although we would love to see your faces in person and be able to give you these awards and hand them to each of you individually, it was an unfortunate situation that we were not able to do this year. But again, congratulations to all of you and thank you all Cardinal Country for being a part of this virtual, very first virtual awards uh, academic ceremony. Thank you so much and have a good day.